We begin today with a Valley teen killed with an axe just hours before the new year. And what's more, police say the man who killed him, his own father. ABC 15's Mary Ellen Resendez joins us now live. Mary Ellen, neighbors say even before this attack, they had a feeling something wasn't right here. That's right, Steve. Neighbors say they knew something was amiss about Gary Sherrill. In fact, just Sunday night, one neighbor claims he jumped out from behind this bush at her. I looked at his bottle of empty Jack Daniels and he's like, oh, well, this is just a prop. And he put it down and I said, okay. Gary Sherrill's neighbor asked us not to identify her, so we'll call her Carol. Carol was nearby when police arrived to Cheryl's home looking for his 13-year-old son, David, after he failed to return David to his mother's Chandler home. Cheryl first denied his son was even at the apartment, then finally admitted to officers that he was inside. But he claimed that his son was a demon who had tried to eat him, and so he killed him. The news sent chills down Carol, who says Cheryl seemed obsessed with the number 51 in her bizarre encounter with him on Sunday night. He said, numbers don't mean a lot to people. And I was like, well, what do you mean? And he's like, I, I went to this school over here, and I ditched school for 51 days straight and I went to Crystal Mall and I broke in and saw Jaws for 51 days straight and then it was just like really weird and really bizarre. Police say Cheryl is going to be charged with premeditated murder. Now coming up at five we speak to another neighbor about some of the red flags that she reported to authorities and why they went unheard. Steve? So many people with questions about his behavior. Thank you Mary Ellen.